Hello, Jesse from ICM Controls. We're here at a commercial construction site and we're going to be installing an ICM 530 series surge protective device on this sub panel in the building. We're gonna have the help of Art from AHR Mechanical to help us with that installation. So without further ado, he's gonna take us through the process. Shut off power to the appropriate disconnect. Verify all power is off with a voltage meter before proceeding with the installation. Drill a three quarter inch hole if a knockout is not available. Feed wires through the hole and tighten the locking nut on the nipple. Connect the white wire coming from the surge protective device to the neutral terminal in the distribution panel. Connect the three black wires from the surge protective device in parallel with the three incoming line wire terminals in the distribution panel. The black wires are not specific to L1, L2, or L3 and can be installed in any order. Turn on the power to verify the installation was successful and the LED indicator is illuminated green. That concludes this fairly easy installation here of the ICM 530 surge protective device. Just remember that if the LED light is illuminated, then you are fully protected. And if it is off, then the device will need replacing. If you have any questions or concerns, you can reach out to ICM Controls Technical Support or visit the website at icmcontrols.com.